everybody! I am TennisBob13. Welcome back for some more Let's Play Metro Prime. Because it feels great! In the last part, we have uh, got the grappling hook and we also got the x ray visors. And now in this part, uh, I figured let's do some more exploring in Chills or Ruins and we can probably get some more stuff because since we got power bombs and all that stuff, we might as well do that since we're here. <laughs> I figured. And uh, oh god, we're in this room. One of my least favorite rooms ever <laughs> in the history of Metroid Prime. I just know for a fact that I have to fight those. You know what? Yeah, nope, nope, nope. Not gonna happen, no. Just no. I will have a feeling that I am gonna fight them again. <laughs> just cause they're everywhere. They are in everywhere, man, just everywhere. All right, so I need to make myself over to the uh, furnace and I can go another way huh that's just freaking great I want the <laughs> oh well I'm gonna go around the original way then like it's a big deal or anything let's just do it so we are finally going to be at the furnace and uh, I think we can get a missile expansion in here there's uh, those little spider ball tracks up there but you're wondering how the hell do we get up there well that's simple blow it up like so and that creates a little half pipe right there uh, those guys, by the way, are uh, they can't be destroyed simply by the beam. Uh, they can only be destroyed by the uh, bombs. Alright, so that little path right there, I completely forgot you can go there also to get to the shriny area. But we're going to go up here first and uh, just boost it on up there, you know. Just do it. Just got to do it, man. Oh, man. Come on now. Get up there. Get up there! Oh, what the heck, man? What the heck, man? Ruining my vibe, man. Oh, come on, not you two. Man, those guys are just jerks. Alright, can I please just, like, get up there, like, today? That would be just fantastic and a half. Alright, man, Samus, you're you're getting tired. Samus, you're tiring out. It's only, like, almost, like, halfway to the game, and you're, like, already tired? Come on now. There we go. So, what I'd like to do is just take care of these guys simply with, with a bomb. That's That's... The way they are just going to die. I mean, they're going to enjoy nice bombs because bombs are nutritious and they make you explode. Of indigestion and diarrhea. Okay. So these guys are going to go and uh, wait for you. Oh man, incoming scan date already. God. Se seismic activity updated. Unusual activity in magma regions. Oh, that's right. We get to go all the way to that one place. Yes, the geothermal core. I love that place. The only reason why I love that place because we get a fucking awesome thing. I'm just so happy. Ah, oh, makes me. I just can't wait to get that thing. For those of you who played this, know probably what I'm talking about. For those who haven't, then you're missing out because this is going to be sick. Anyways, we get another missile expansion here. Sweet. Alrighty, so let's go ahead. And I need to see which places I miss, because I think there's a few other places that I can go in Chozo Ruins for now. What the heck? There's a place I haven't been to yet? Well, let's go back over here. Let's see what that is. Uh, all the way in the watery hall. And, oh, over here too. We can also go over there. Awesome. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just make my way through the watery hall. And then just kind of cut through all this stuff and I'll meet you guys there at the watery hall. Okay, so we are at the watery hall. Uh, so the first things first, we can, uh, if you have the gravity suit, we can now go underneath this part. This can only be accessed after you get the gravity suit and clearing out all the toxic stuff. But here we get another missile expansion. Very nice. And also, too, in the same room, uh, there's another little missile expansion I believe we can get. This would have been nice because that I could have gotten this like at the very beginning, when after I got the bombs and the morph ball. So... That would have been good to do after that, but I just somehow forgot to do it. So let's just jump all across here. Jumping like a pro. Like a bouse. Yeah, yeah, getting rid of these rapers here. <laughs> these little rapers are just no good. And let's go shoot some eyeballs, because they're like firing their lasers, which we can't have. Alright, you just die. Just close your eyes. You know, it'll, it'll be a slowly painful death. But now that we have this, we can go... <laughs> in here at last 
I don't think... Well, I don't know why I didn't even do this in the first place, but oh well. I guess we're, we're finally going to find out what's in here. So we got ooh, a spider ball track, and this is... I think Corridite, so... No, that's not Corridite. It's just something you can blow up the missile. But we get, yet again, another missile expansion. This is missiles, missiles galore. Man, oh man. Now another one should be right up this way here. Yep. I am right. So we got two missiles in one room. Awesome! That's freaking badass. Samus is just going stronger and stronger by the minute. I bet you I have like over 150 missiles at this point. Because that would be just sick. Oh boy, I, I just can't wait. I can't wait till I get like every single thing in this game. That <laughs> like, you have no idea how painful this is for me. Anyways. Uh, let's get out of here and I need to find out where I need to go next. That little... I think there was like another place that I can go to. Uh, I think there's like only one place I can go because that's pretty much everything that I've, that I've seen so far in Shows or Ruins. Alright, so I will... Yep. I need to go to the Ruined Fountains. That's the next destination, so I will be right back. Alrighty, so we're at the Ruined f uh, Fountain. So let's go ahead and go through this side here. Uh, I believe you can go in here a little bit earlier, but without the um, the various suit here, you're going to probably need that, and you're going to need the grappling beam for this part. So let's go ahead through this side here. Actually, is there anything interesting I can scan? Water toxicity levels return to safety levels, huh? That's very nice. Alright, when delay flows, the hatching will walk, and water toxicity levels returning, so that's good. Gives us a little fact about how the water is. Like that's good to know. We love, we love water. You know, we drink stuff, and make cool stuff with it. But anyways, let's grapple on over here like a boss. Look at that, just grappling over lava. That's just death defying. All right, so in this room here, let's grab some missiles. And if we use our X-ray visors over here, boom! You can clearly see something hidden right behind this wall. And let me guess. Ben Denzium. I know, right? Crazy. Just crazy. Let's blow this wall down. Boom! And boom goes the dynamite. And let's see what this is here. Ooh, nice. Power bomb expansions. Nice. These add up uh, one extra power bomb towards your slot. So we'll be getting quite a few more uh, power bombs expansions throughout uh, this world of sorts. And here it is the last official Chozo lore. That is sick. So we have finally completed all the Chozo lures in this game, ladies and gentlemen. And I still have like one more pirate data left to scan, but that's going to be like probably later on once we get to further down in phase on mines, I'm, I'm assuming. So let's just finish reading up this, which I'm not. <laughs> um, I am possibly going to read uh, most of the Chozo lures and stuff after I finish the game uh, beforehand, but look at that. Look at all of those Chozo lures. We have finally done them. Man, we were just probably so close to finishing up all of our logs. It's not even funny. It is not even close to funny at all. Alright, inside we go here. Now, this room right here, I didn't... This took me a while for me to find. But over here, there's like a little tunnel. And I, I think most people like miss this sometimes. And it probably is one of like the most unnoticeable things to get, but that's a missile expansion over there, so that's good. Um, so I think we need to... Oh. First off, I didn't need to see this. Uh, who are you gonna call? No, we're just... We're gonna call Samus, you know? Who needs Ghostbusters when I mean, we can just call Samus and take care of these guys? Because that's, that's just face facts. Oh, that, why did that Chozo Ghost just like go through the wall? Whoa, I did not mean to sidestep like that. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. I did not mean to do that. I, I was actually kind of watching like speed runs of this game ahead of, ahead of time before I even started this Let's Play, and I wanted to just see how like intense like speed runners are of this game because they break, they like sequence break like the crap out of this game. Because it's just amazing what kind of stuff they can do. <laughs> really, it is. So if you haven't checked out a speed run of this game, you should definitely do that. It's pretty, fun. it's pretty fun to watch, definitely. So we have a energy tank here, but how do we get the energy tank? Let's first get this, and here we have another half pipe we can go. Now on two sides there's a switch, 
Uh, I think one of those opens up a door and the other one just opens up a little path for us to get the energy tank. So this one probably just opens it. Yep, I thought so. And let's just hop onto the next side here because that way I think we have another one of those time things where we have to go through that, that little tunnel right over there. Yep, so that thing just lowers. And up, oh, wouldn't you know it, we have a timer. Quick, run for it. Be quick, be careful. Oh, that was pretty simple. It always feels like you like you don't even like get much time out of it, but you really have to just hurry. There we go. Energy tank, I believe, number 12. Yep. That is right, number 12. We're only just two more energy tanks away from getting all the energy tanks in this game. That's freaking awesome. So awesome. Anyways, into the guy's mouth. It looks like some sort of mouth of some sorts, but it's pretty creepy, <laughs> I must say. And we got a nice little morph ball section here. Now, you do want to be careful because some of these little elevator things can squish you over here. Hey, you don't want to get flattened up there, Samus. No, no siree. I like it when you're all spherical and cubic, or just sphere is the correct term. Alright, blow that up thing would not take me forever. Alright, so as you know now, uh, we are at the main plaza area of Chosa Ruins. Now if I can somehow grapple... No, I didn't want to turn into a morph ball. This is kind of weird because you have to hold the L button while you're like jumping up at an angle and just like be able to lock onto the uh, grappling beam. But anyways, yet again, another missile. Would have thought, right? <laughs> Alright, now I also think there's another one we can get in this little area right here. This tree, this tree seems to have a weak spot. Well, I think you can possibly see that with the X-ray visors, but if you can't, then you might have to get closer. But what you want to do is super missile right there, where that little tree trunk is just popping out. And we need to jump over here so I can somehow make it. I think we could do this before, like, without the grappling beam over there, but whatever. It's pretty much there. We got it. It's done. It's done. Alrighty, and I believe that's about it for Chosa Ruins uh, until now. I'm pretty sure that's all the missile expansions I can possibly get. But now all I want to do now is head over to Magmar Caverns. So I will just meet you guys at Magmar Caverns. One sec. And here we are. Magmar Caverns at last. Quite a journey. Not so much. Alrighty, let's go ahead and figure out... So I need to head over to that little question mark area. Um, I could possibly like go back. Nah. Actually, no, I don't want to go back. I just want to get that check. I just want to get the question mark area and over with. Because I really want this next thing that we get. It's so bad. It's just like too good, if I remember correctly. Okay, so let's go up the spider ball tracks here like a pro. Because we can... I could just like be a badass and just jump into the lava. But that, that would involve like health issues and I don't want to do that. No, Samus will probably just kill me forever. <laughs> Alright, so with the grappling beam now, it'll be make things a lot easier with traveling in Magmar Caverns, that's for sure. Let's just go ahead and grapple on here. Be like all Tarzan style. Yeah! <laughs> or actually be more like Jade at this point because uh, Tarzan falls in love with Jade, I, I remember correctly. But for those of you who watched the Disney show of Tarzan. I, I still can't believe I, I, I get such fond memories of that movie. Tarzan just like almost make me cry at almost at the very end of it. Like how the gorilla father dies. It's just so sad. Really. Oh well. Anyways. I think we are almost at the area. Yep. We are finally at this large, vast... Wait. What happened to those platform things that were just like... Oh. They finally took those out. That's stupid. Oh, well, I guess you now have to just rely on your double jumps now, so that's kind of crazy. In half, of some sorts. Is there a grappling point around here? I guess not. Might be just on the other side, so let's just hop over here. Ugh, it's just so scary seeing Samus jump over the lava like that. It's creepy as hell. But anyways, we're brave like that. We're brave adventurers. Alright, so I saw a grappling point up here. Right, let's just go ahead and swing across here. Now this, I remember correctly, is going to be like a large puzzle sort of thing. What you want to do here is uh, boost on in here and uh, raise that little platform up there. And there's that music again! 
That good old puzzle music. I can never get enough of that. <laughs> Let's just spin on up there. Get that nice and tight. Perfect. Just gonna have to keep doing that a few more times. That creates more platforms for us to activate. There we go. Alright. Let's go inside here. Boost up the screw right there. And there we go. Now, how exactly do I get up there now? Um, I don't see anything else for me to raise up. I think that's about it, really. Let me check and see. Oh, pff, duh. There's a stupid spider ball track there. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What's up? Hi. I'm stupid. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no. Oh, my God. I didn't fall into the lava. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Jesus, you're killing me, Samus. You're killing me. Ugh, whatevs. Let's just try this again. Boom, bada boom, bada bing. Gotta swing up like a little crazy monkey. And just jump like crazy. Alright, let's try not to fall this time. Let's just actually go up the regular spider ball tracks, because I don't know what the heck happened there. Alright, so there should be another platform right there. And a bomb slot. Perfect. Let's just blow that shit up and boom. What is happening? What is happening? Ah! Whoa. That is pretty cool. I still... I still get goosebumps for this part right here. Oh. Alright, out of range. I think I already scanned that thing. That's like what the same creatures we saw in uh, Chills or Ruins from beforehand. Now this section right here is a very large uh, spider ball section, so <laughs> have fun with this. Um, just keep on rolling through this track here until we get to the other side. So that's pretty good, I must say. This is pretty cool. I like it. I really like this. Let's go ahead and keep on going. Drop down. Now this part right here, you can basically just ride along any surface and any. You can basically just move around. That's that's what I like about that part. Like, oh god, oh god, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, good, good. I was worried I was gonna fall there, but thank god. Because if you fall, man, I'm telling you, just good luck trying to get back up here. Enjoy the climb back up, bitch! <laughs> Dragon Ball Z bridge, god, I just love, like, my favorite character in the Dragon Ball Z bridge it has to be, like, either Nappa or Vegeta. I think Vegeta is, like, my favorite. Mr. Popa might be my third favorite. Hey, what are you talking about? I'm your thirst. God, get it right. <laughs> okay, Mr. Popo. Thanks for intruding my video yet again. Anytime, Bubba. <laughs> okay, he's gone. <laughs> Alright, so let's... Whoa, huge drop right there. That's another thing you gotta be careful, is timing the moment of when you need to uh, grapple onto that spider ball track. That's very scary. Alright, so I'm gonna play it safe get rid of these guys because I don't like you. I don't like yous. What part of that don't you understand? Jeez, you're like killing me. You're breaking my balls, Mario. <laughs> but anyways, we are finally here. That was so bad. No, wasn't it? Look at all that stuff we just went through. I hope we get something good at this side. I'm telling you. All right, the moment of truth. What is it? What is this? <gasps> Plasma beam! Let's go ahead and get this! Oh yes, so freaking awesome. Oh my god. Salute! And... BAM! You've got the plasma beam! Awesome! So that is it. The final weapon in this game, ladies and gentlemen. The power beam is ours. The wave beam is ours. The ice beam is ours. And the plasma beam. Just look how sick this is. Look, it, it fires freaking fire, dude. Fire is just awesome. It is. Alrighty, but with all that stuff done, I think I'm going to call it right here. So, if you like this part, thumbs up, comment, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys later. Bye.